During a festival season, accident cast a shadow over the celebration, increased traffic, distracted driving, and sometimes reckless behavior contribute to a rise in an unfortunate incident. However, on 4th January 2024, during a press briefing, Zambia Transport and Safety Agents Bratsa Director and Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Amon Mwemba says the agency is saddened by the number of fatalities on the festival season. In However, it's saddened by the number of fatalities recorded over the festive season. Um, this was announced by our colleagues at the Zambia Police as a result, uh, uh, and this was as a result of 264 uh, 62 road traffic crashes recorded um, in the country over the festive period. It is also unfortunate to note that there has been an increase in the number of accidents recorded this year, this past year, um, compared to the previous year, 2022. Statistics um, haven't been fully compiled and we're going to get the fatality numbers, I think, uh, in the next week or so. Uh, our colleagues at the police are still compiling those. Uh, but we expect that there has been a slight drop in the number of fatalities, but uh, that will be confirmed um, when, they, when our colleagues release the statistics. Um, and statistics also indicate that Tosaka province recorded the highest number of road traffic accidents, followed by the Copper Belt province. This tells us that we need more in these areas, to do more in these areas in terms of education and enforcement. Um, one of the other issues that uh, obviously hasn't been emphasized on is the state of our infrastructure. Uh, for example, the, the, the state of the road from here to Ndola, uh, for those of you that have uh, driven there recently, uh, it's not that great. And on that stretch, we, we, we get a lot of uh, road traffic crashes. So our colleagues at the RDA are obviously looking into that. Uh, the contract for um, a new road along uh, on that route has already been procured. So we are, we are looking forward to the start of construction sometime this year. Control of government transport, Bristol and Goma, this is what he had to say. So far, we actually enhance our collaboration with the institutions like RATSA, Road Transport and Safety Agents, and other stakeholders in the management of vehicles on our public roads. Uh, this is going to increase our presence because uh, government drivers or government vehicles are also using the public roads with other road users from the general public. So even the government drivers must adhere to the traffic regulations because if they do not hear, then this will see an increase in the road fatalities. Meanwhile, Zambia police spokesperson Ray Hamonga says that one people lost their lives in road accidents during Christmas and New Year's. The aftermath of the Christmas and uh, New Year traffic uh, accidents that occurred during this period. We are aware that uh, this holiday, which was meant for joy and celebration, unfortunately, it means fatalities on our road accidents and regrettably. We have a total of 31 lives that were lost. Many, of course, are affected, and our heartfelt condolences go to the family and friends who lost their loved ones during this year. That we can develop cooperative strategies to address the root causes of these actions. In the coming weeks, we will also be conducting thorough investigations into the incidents or traffic accidents that occurred in the holiday, and I'm sure if you are Good at mathematics, you have seen that the fatalities are mentioned 31 until 32. One of the accidents that was reported at the fire accident that is involving a 15 year old person was driving a motor vehicle at Manda Hill actually has now turned out to be a murder case. So, when we see the investigations, it has now moved to the classified as a classified as a truck accident. Vincent Kalunga reporting for Movie TV News in Lusaka.